All right, we're sitting here talking to Louisiana's head coach, Mark Hudspeth. And coach, we want to talk a little bit about Saturday's scrimmage and what what exactly did you see out there that you liked and what are some of the things that you think we need to work on. Um, kind of talk about a little bit about Sunday um, film session and what you guys got out of that and what you want to work into the practice this week going into your next scrimmage. Well, I thought retention was uh, was very good at the, at the first scrimmage. You can tell there was a lot of carryover from the spring, and you can tell the guys, I, I feel like, had really been had really dug in in the first uh, eight practices, and uh, we're, we're coming along pretty good. Uh, after watching the film, you, you could see that uh, we've got some veteran guys on offense because this is the second year in the, in the offense with nine starters back, so they're a little bit ahead of the game right now. On the defensive side of the ball, with replacing seven starters, a lot of teachings going on, a lot of learning. So uh, you know, some guys are making mistakes, but the guys are, are giving a good effort. So as long as I know they're giving a great effort, flying around to the football, uh, you know, I think we can correct the mistakes. And we've got you know plenty of time to get those corrected, hopefully. But uh, we do have some guys on defense that can run, they can tackle, uh, they can rush the quarterback, uh, and so uh, that's been that's been good to see. Uh, after looking at the scrimmage also, our kicking game, I feel like, really is way ahead of where it was at this point last year. Our kicker, snapper, punters are all back, and uh, that always gives you a little bit, as a coach, a little bit of that comfort zone, knowing that you're not going into your first game with a kid that's never punted or kicked in a game. So uh, I, thought we, I thought we performed pretty, pretty good with our coverage units in, in the scrimmage. But... Uh, as always, that first scrimmage, you always see a lot of first scrimmage mistakes. We held out a bunch of guys that, you know, have, have been starters for two years that we, we know they can play. Uh, they didn't get many snaps, just enough maybe to sharpen their blade up to get them game ready. But uh, we're all right now in about developing depth and trying to develop some quality depth uh, from, from our freshmen, from our transfers, and then some of the guys that were redshirted last year. And so... Hopefully we'll, we can continue with uh, some really good teaching and development of these young kids because sooner or later in a long, long 12-game season, you're, well, you're going to need some guys to be game ready or to be ready to step in, whether it's special teams, you know, offense or defense. Of course, there's a number of uh, new faces in, in, in the fall, prox fall team here that you're looking to help you out in that too deep on both sides of the ball. Um, they're coming in, how is, their, how is their adjustment to the pace, which you guys work out on a daily basis? Because that's that's a huge adjustment from what they come from. It, it is, and, and like I said, they're, 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 they're getting there. Are they uh, where we want to be yet? No, but they're, they're seeing how the older guys practice and how they prepare and, and how our older guys push through uh, the last maybe six or eight periods of practice when we've been grinding pretty hard. Um, that's the difference to me between the first, second, third, and then the fourth quarter. And you've got to condition yourself to push through uh, that second and third and last part of practice uh, because that's preparing you for, for a game. And so we try to make practice uh, fast. We're very up-tempo, and you know, we're trying to get a lot done, a lot covered, and get as many quality reps as we possibly can. There's a fine line between getting a lot of reps and getting quality reps, and so we're hoping that we can, can meet a little bit of, little bit of both. Now, Coach, uh, after you, after Sunday was, uh, uh, was was stepping back and looking at some video and, and looking at fine-tuning those things that you guys need to work on and then going out into practice and getting those done, um, what is going to be the focus going forward uh, to this scrimmage and what is going to be the difference between this scrimmage this week and what you're looking at as compared to the first scrimmage? Well, in the first scrimmage, like I said, a lot of our, our veterans that have played a lot, maybe your two- and three-year starters, they did play some in the first scrimmage, not, not the whole scrimmage. They might even play a little bit less in this scrimmage. Uh, we still got a lot of guys that we're trying to evaluate. There's a lot of positions that we still have not finalized. And then there's a lot of uh, second and third team spots that we're still trying to, to uh, figure out the, the pecking order. And so uh, it's going to be a big evaluation uh, practice for our guys. I'm not so much con concerned about scheme on either side of the ball. I want to see who can take their gap, block the right man, who can run and catch, and uh, and do their job, and so uh, and play awfully hard. So that's that's what I'm looking for as a head coach here in, in, in scrimmage number two. Now, coach, from a leadership standpoint, are you starting to see some guys step forward and 
and take, you know, we, we talked a little bit at the beginning of the fall practice about Melvin White, mm -hmm. some of those guys. But are, are you starting to see some other guys um, um, step forward and take, take some responsibility here? A little bit. And, uh, you know, you never probably have as much as you would like some years. Uh, we've had some guys that are starting to step up in, 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 in timely matters, in timely times of practice when, when you need somebody to step up and sort of grab the bull by the horns and say, hey guys, let's, let's take this to a whole new level. And uh, some guys have been, been doing that, would like to see a few more, but you can, start in this, you can start to see that there's some guys emerging as, uh, as leaders and potential leaders for this season. Now, Coach, with nine starters returning on offense, obviously offense is going to be a little bit ahead where the defense is right now. Um, at this point, on the offensive side of the ball, are you seeing some things that you want to see and there are some things that you feel you need, you need to keep working on? I tell you, I think our receivers are playing at a very high level, and uh, they're on the same wavelength as our quarterbacks are in Blaine. So I really like the way they're practicing. Our offensive line is doing a really nice job uh, protecting right now. Uh, and I, I think our, our, we're, we're way ahead right now uh, scheme-wise as far as our installation, retention, and uh, feeling good about certain things we're doing. Um, so that, that's, that's been a plus. We've just got to continue the, the uh, development of some of these younger kids and the development of some of these second-teamers. And Because uh, last year we did not have hardly any offensive depth. And we're very fortunate to make through the entire season without any. So we're, we're preparing to have more and more depth than we had last year. Coach, on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of new faces there, um, trying, to find, trying to find the right fits for some of these guys. Um, you know, obviously that's going to take a little bit more time, but uh, do, you see the, do you see the intensity and an aggression there that you want to see on that side of the ball? I, I do. Uh, we, we've got some guys that are, that are playing hard, and we've got a lot of guys competing. We still have not uh, decided, like I said, on some positions, but um, they're picking up the scheme pretty good, and uh, we're, we've been throwing a lot at them. There's been some times we've tried to pull back just a little bit so we could evaluate uh, the player more than how the player does the scheme. And once we can pencil in who we think that the best players are at each position, then we can speed up the, the teaching with uh, the scheme part. And so uh, I think we're on, on pace and we're on track, and uh, we've just got to, to, to mold a group of young guys, some veterans, and some transfers uh, that hadn't played together, you know, into one unit. And uh, although we've got some talented players, we've got to put them together, get them to play together, get them to play hard, and play within the scheme. And when we do that, I think we've got a chance to have a very, very good defense. One last question, Coach, for you. Um, after this scrimmage uh, Saturday and you're just talking about uh, finding those last few guys that are, are going to fill in and help fill out that depth chart on first and second teams there, about, you know, going into next week, you know, what, what point do you want to have those guys figured out and you start focusing on getting them more reps and being prepared for and putting your game plan together? Well, next week, you know, after this scrimmage, next week we'll exchange what we, you know, we scouts. So that's, the, that's the week we exchange scouts. We'll send the offensive guys, uh, defensive guys that we feel like are going to be our own scout team down. And then we'll go probably not quite as much against each other, obviously, as we have been. And we'll start uh, implementing the Lamar uh, game plan. And now you start getting into a little more game plan, still trying to, to finalize and fine tune and continue to develop and sharpen your blade. But uh, we'll, we'll be getting a lot closer to game time once you break that 12-day uh, barrier to your, to your first game. And so uh, that, that'll, be a, that'll be an exciting time. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time and giving us a few minutes. This is Greg Louisiana's Raging Cajuns head coach, football coach, Mark Hutzbeth.